Hi there and welcome back in my let's play of Star Wars Night of the Old Republic 2. So let's continue, shall we? Uh, who are you? I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic. Although I'm certain my contemporaries would judge me more a historian than scientist. And what are you doing here? Like you. I was looking for some trace of the Jedi. I had heard mention that one of the Jedi Masters had gone there, but I found no trace of them. Mm, that's not the only reason. The other reason was the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. And once I arrived, I felt it was necessary to stay, to protect what was left. Left? Much had been taken from the Enclave, both by raiders and others. I wished to preserve what I could. I see. What others? Many artifacts were taken from the Enclave, but these thefts, they had to have been done by someone who knew the Enclave well. I, I suspect see. the Jedi themselves took the holocrons and records, but I do not know why. You mentioned holocrons? Someone has been taking holocrons from sites across the galaxy. It was almost as if someone does not want their knowledge used to find the Jedi. The situation on Dantooine is echoed in other places in the galaxy. Raiders, smugglers, all seek to plunder what remains of the Jedi, and even the Sith. More so than the Jedi themselves, I fear the loss of their history. Mm. Why is that? Much has been forgotten in recent wars, and I fear that greater troubles shall stem from that loss of knowledge in the future. The destruction of the Academy on Osus near the Kron Drift in the Sith War, the teachings of Master Arka, the adventures of Jolie Bindo on the Rimward missions. <laughs> Jolie Bindo. All of these things are in danger of being lost forever. What else would you like to know? Do you know what happened to Jedi? No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way. Especially when the Republic is in need of them. Mm. I fear that there is something Republic else The Republic always needs them. Something that we cannot see. Then again... Perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. Well, why do you think people hate the Jedi? It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, uh, they are right both Jedi. Possible? with different philosophies. Uh, do you hate the Jedi? Hate? No. I do not hate them. They only raise questions without answers. Jedi are not supposed to be like the rest of us. They are supposed to see a higher purpose in all things. And they are supposed to train students responsibly and well, so mistakes of the past are not repeated. Yet all see? I saw was ignorance and arrogance, and what those seeds created in the Republic. It is difficult to follow the Jedi Code when so few others have. But you know this. What do you mean? Many Jedi defied the Order during the Mandalorian Wars, and it paved the way for the Jedi Civil War. I was one of these Jedi. I must accept part of the responsibility. There is no blame. All must accept. But... At its core, one must wonder if it was the failure of the Jedi teachings or the teachers themselves. Many of the Jedi Council trained Exar Kun, Ulik, Revan, and Malak. How could they Ulic, not Ulic. see the danger they posed? And if they could not, perhaps there was some essential part of their teachings that was flawed. Something beyond the Jedi code that they were missing. Do you know who trained Revan? <laughs> Let's ask him that. Revan had many masters. Zar, Dorak, Master K before K left for the wars. Towards the end of his training, he sought out many to learn techniques. It is said that he returned to his first master at the end of his training in order to learn how he might best leave the order. The received the same training as I did. I am not certain you understand what happened with Revan. Do you wish me to explain? Go. Revan was captured in the middle of the Jedi Civil War 
due in no small part to his apprentice Malak, who turned on him. Revan yeah, was brought before the Jedi Council and put on trial. You must understand that the situation was desperate, and the Jedi needed to know how Revan had amassed the forces arrayed against them. As I understand it, they were able to convince Revan to have a change of heart, but it was only for a time. Revan helped the Republic defeat Malak. I suspect it was out of revenge. I see. What else would you like to know? You look familiar to me. I imagine in your travels of the galaxy you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. What else would you like to know? Nothing. Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? Because I have force bond and it's held. A force bond? What do you mean? I have connection with other that could be little to us both. I'm not sure I understand. I have bone with other that transmit pain across distances. If she suffers, I suffer. If she dies, there is a chance. I will die too. <laughs> what? No. I thought I had heard mention of such connections in some of the holocrons. But I do not possess them. They are part of the holocrons that were taken from the Enclave. Uh, what do you remember about the bones? I know some of what you speak. It is said that when a Jedi and Padawan establish a close connection, that they can feel each other across distances and coordinate their movements in battle. The intensity of the connection varies. That bonding is said to also be something that manifests itself in such techniques as Bastila's battle meditation, oh. the ability to touch the minds of others, we remember to demoralize that. or inspire them. It is also said that moments of death or near death may also cause such bonds. The stronger one is in the force, the stronger the connection. Is such a bond ever a little? I've never heard of a bond being lethal. I suppose such a thing is possible. Yeah. I'd not truly believed Bastila's battle meditation until I had seen it in action. Mm. Where would the holocron be? I do not know. I do not know who has taken them. Mm. If we were to find That's them, great. perhaps I could help you find the answers you need. If you would have me, I can apply my knowledge and skills to helping you find the answers you seek. Look, we're already full up. <laughs> we don't need anyone else. We travel light. Actually, yeah, he seems capable. Okay, we need to take him, and he's just a simple soldier. Okay, Korea and him. First, I see. Each of the mercenaries bear evidence that they were killed by a lightsaber. Oh! So, it was a Jedi or a Sith. Let's read it. Mm. This data pad contains orders from Asku, the leader of the mercenaries on Dantwin. Vrook has wandered into the enclave alone. You will take a full squad and capture Jedi alive. So it was Rook. Uh, bring him to our nook. What is nook? In the Kinred Caves to avoid transport to Narshada. You will fetch a fire bounty. Oh, yeah. It was their hideout in the cave. Of course. We can't click on that one and on that one. So among the bodies of the mercenaries you found that's the connect orders for Asku to capture Rook alive and bring him to the Kenard case. Let's see, Asku is that guy. We probably fight him. Uh, let's see. I am ready. And level you up, soldier. Mm, so demolition awareness usually. Yeah, classical soldier. Don't get any 
Uh, don't get many points. Mm, two weapon fighting. Okay, this is nice. Oh, yeah. Sniper shot. No, I misclick. Actually, wait. You have high dexterity and strength. But it's soldier, and soldiers are usually better, better melee guys, so you will be melee. Okay, and he, he can wear everything. Yeah, you will have this one. Powered battle armor. Mm, some crappy shields. What do I have actually? <laughs> I have much better. Okay. Can have that here. Can have mask, so we can have implants too. Okay. So he can use two weapons, but for a while he can have this double bladed. Ooh, looking cool. This armor kinda reminds me of Davix, but only slightly. So let's continue leveling him up. Strength, okay. Actual trade injury. Feats, skills, mm. yeah, he will also have fury. Same thing, same. Feeds. Mm. Mm. Okay, I can have this one. Nice. Only leveled up. Oh, it's a Brook statue. Mm. I don't like that guy. If I can, I will kill him. Yeah, for Revan. For my old master. Oh, frame rate is increasing and dropping like crazy. Mm, what is that? More of these stupid bugs. Yeah, thanks for help. Oops. 